My name is Tim Nixon. I'm the CTO of GM's Global Connected Customer Experience Group. My name is Phil Abram, and I'm the Chief Infotainment Officer for General Motors. Here at GM, we've been working in the connected space about 18 years or so. But in the last seven or so years, we've really taken that up to a next level. Safety and security, peace of mind, that's been the hallmark of what we've done. Now we're bringing connectivity in, in terms of data, uh, in terms of additional services, off-board services, and bringing it all together. Mobile devices, web, email, those are all now combined in a, a variety of ways that we can provide services now to customers that allow them to really experience the Internet of Things when it comes to their automobile. Life before Internet of Things for, for GM and our customers was where they had to connect the dots for us. And now, with the Internet of Things, what we're able to do is bring together so many disparate information sources and be able to combine those to create new applications and services for our customers. Here at GM, uh, and recently with the launch of 4G LTE, we've developed a platform now that is allowing customers to get into their vehicles and have a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, and consume services in the vehicle that they weren't able to do in past generations of the product. And it's only through the Internet of Things that applications like vehicle prognostics, so your car will tell you when it might be failing so you can take action before you're stranded. And we can do things like being able to remotely start your car, be driving down the road and hear a sound and have an advisor come on and run a diagnostic on your car while you're driving it to tell you whether you should pull over right now or, or no, it's safe to keep driving. And it's those moments, those we call moments that matter to people. We couldn't do without the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things has brought uh, a lot of enablers to us uh, as a car company, as an auto industry, allowing us to get access to data that's always been present in the vehicle but has never been able to actually been uh, pulled out. Before it was very physical, you know, how the steering wheel felt, the ride of the car, well that's changing. And the Internet of Things is one of the things bringing that change about. So it's about how does the car interact with me, both when I'm in the car and when I'm not in the car. It, it creates a playground, if you will, or a, a great opportunity to create new services and continue to deliver those services to customers even after they've purchased the vehicle. And that's one of the probably the biggest changes is the vehicle will continue to get better over time rather than the moment it's shipped, it's where it is and it's frozen in time.